what are the symptoms associated with adrenal fatigue? Chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia. When I got out of medical school, we didn't believe there was such a thing. It was a revelation when five years afterwards, all of a sudden we could call that fibromyalgia. What is it? You're tired and you got sore nodules in your muscles. Wait a minute, high cortisol breaking down muscles, what do you think? We only got the diagnosis when someone came up with a drug that could help it. But it only helps the symptoms. It doesn't help the problem. The problem is the muscles are breaking down because of a poor anabolic catabolic balance. The fibromyalgia is just a symptom of that. But thank God we've got a label for it. So we can call it that and prescribe something for it. Chronic pelvic pain, post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, for, for chronic fatigue syndrome, we have been through the mill. There was chronic Ep Epstein-Barr virus. There, there's been all sorts of flavors of the day come and go to explain someone that comes in and says, I'm tired. Well, if you have no metabolism, why wouldn't you be tired? As I said before, 70% of doctor's visits related to an abnormal stress response. Eventually chronic stress, exhaust DHEA, and even eventually cortisol production starts to fall, body metabolism falls off the roof, and we don't even have energy in the morning. Our get up and go has got up and left. 